Hey, Tackle Warehouse fans, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New ATW. We got a bunch of great stuff for you this week, but we're going to start off with something that I'm super happy to finally get to talk about and 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 show our customers and viewers uh, the, about a new reel that we've been working on. So probably three or four years in the making since we initially started this project. So it's really cool to finally see it uh, come to life and, and be able to release it to the public. So this is the Abu Garcia Zeta Tac Z Reel. So building collaboration with uh, a bunch of the guys here at Tackle Warehouse and some real designers from Abu Garcia. And we couldn't be happier about having this opportunity to produce this reel and do some really cool things with it with our buddies over at Abu Garcia. So this reel is built on the new the newest Zeta platform, but we kind of did some things with cosmetics on it. It doesn't look like any other Abby Garcia reel in the lineup. So a bunch of us in the office, big time hunters, uh, recreational shooters, and we wanted something that kind of captured some of the trends that are going on in in the gun industry. So, uh, you know, there's a, a bunch of really cool stuff going on with, uh, you know, different firearms and, and different color makeups that, that people are coming out with that you can get straight from the factory now and they're not rattle canned. And we kind of wanted to do something like that with a fishing reel. It'd be super cool to do. So uh, so we changed up the cosmetics on this reel. So it's kind of our take on a, an FTE and OD green style of a reel. And then everything else on it is matte black, except a couple of little, little tiny pieces that we wanted. So matte black, got a matte black handle on the side, but on the spool tension knob, it actually has a brass kind of ammunition inspired uh, spool tension knob on the side. So not only is this reel, this reel is a high performance reel. So any tournament fisherman, uh, if you're you know uh, fishing any kind of tour, you wanna load up with a few of these, uh, any tournament angler is gonna be super happy with the performance of this reel. The Zeta platform is a proven high performance reel, but what's great about this reel is that, uh, you know, when we started it, we realized that hey, this is a great opportunity for us to do something really cool for the veteran community, which is really important to us. So with this reel, if you're a veteran, you're gonna get 30% off of this reel all the time. If you got your customer file set up, uh, you can call over to customer service and get your military discount, customer profile set up, super, super easy. 30% off of this reel all the time for veterans. Also, when you buy this reel, it's gonna come with an Abu Garcia, and Tackle Warehouse co-branded shirt. So it's got our uh, Tackle Warehouse logo on the front, Abu Garcia logo right here on the sleeve. And then we did our fish flag logo on the other sleeve. The other great thing that we're doing with this reel is that a portion of the proceeds are gonna go to Heroes on the Water, which it's a, it's a charity organization that does fishing events for veterans. And it's mainly based around kayak fishing events. There's a local chapter here around Tackle Warehouse actually in near both of our locations. And we've actually got to go down and, and help those guys out on one of their events here at Avila Beach, you know, uh, launching all the veterans in the morning. It was a really cool event. And uh, the chapter president, Andy, is an awesome guy that, that, that runs that whole chapter and puts everything together. So just a phenomenal organization. And we wanted to see the, the you know, the money help out, uh, help out an organization that's doing awesome things for veteran community getting people out kayak fishing as a therapeutic method of uh, you know, rehabilitation. And don't forget, if you're a veteran, you get special pricing the entire life of this reel. Comes in this really cool box. We kind of went with a kind of a matte green finish to it. Kind of looks like an ammo can. And it uh, comes right and left, 7.1 gear ratio. We asked for a seven point uh, other gear ratio, but we couldn't get it, we tried though. Uh, but really cool reel, an awesome opportunity. We're super stoked to partner with Abby Garcia on this uh, exclusive reel. Now. Uh, let's get into some top water baits here from Teco Lures. So from always stoked to see something new from Teco Lures. And when I saw this one, uh, I immediately knew what it was and I was super stoked to see this bait come back on the market. So this is the Teco Slash Kicker. And if you're not familiar with it, um, it's a pencil style popper, but if you've been around Bass Fish for a little while, it might look super familiar. There was a very similar bait underneath another brand that, uh, that Hideki from Teckle used to produce, and now he's brought it back. So if you're, if you're familiar with the older uh, bait, this one is slightly different. The material he's using is actually the same material that he's using on the kick knocker, so it does get a little bit higher pitched noise to it and then super sharp hooks to just stab myself with. But uh, that bait, it's crazy, crazy loud. So what's cool about this slash kicker bait 
is uh, he originally designed this bait for fishing uh, the spotted bass lakes uh, on the East Coast, uh, especially the ones with the blue back herring and having a pencil popper style topwater that absolutely casts like a bullet. You can see all the weights in there and how you know, kind of the bulb ascend on it. So flies like a bullet, but I still have one of the originals left. And uh, one thing I've noticed about this bait is not only does it cast like a rocket, um, but when you walk it, it's one of the most easy walking baits to ever, it's one of the easiest baits to ever to, uh, to ever walk. To, so it's super easy to manipulate the action and get it to walk side to side. And this bait, because uh, it's weighted and the way it's shaped, um, you, can, you can nearly walk this bait in the same spot without moving it forward. So it just flips right back and forth without getting too much kind of like glide side to side or moving forward. So you can, if you're really trying to focus on a target, um, this is one you want to check out because you can leave it kind of in one spot. But also, uh, if you're covering water, this is where this bait really, really excels is covering water, making really, really long cast, and then also in that rougher water because it kind of sits a little bit nose up and that cupped mouth on there just splashes and throws a ton of water. And then it's got those little feathers right there on the side and like I just stabbed myself with those crazy sharp hooks. So uh, super excited to see the Slash Kicker back on the market. Uh, we got to see it at iCast and I'm stoked. It's finally in stock here right now. Now the next one is uh, the Kick Knocker Pup Spec 2. So the Pup is, uh, is just the smaller version of the Kick Knocker. On the inside, the difference between this one and the regular Pup is it's got extra weight on the inside down here in the tail. So actually when you pause this bait, it actually sits, you know, all the way, almost vertical tail down. Um, so the extra weight, what he made this bait for is, I mean, you're gonna get a little bit longer casting because there's more weight in it, but really made it for rougher water conditions. So with the regular pup, if you're trying to walk the dog and uh, you got a little chop on the water, the bait can jump out of the water and, and not stay on the surface, but it's also great for, um, for fishing in current. So because it's weighted so heavy in the tail, you can actually walk the dog with your tip up and keep your line up and out of the current. If you're fishing river systems and you're trying to walk the dog and you're trying to like, you know, typically got to cast upstream and kind of get that perfect drift going right by a target. Uh, this is going to help you just be a little bit more efficient and being able to target stuff a little bit easier in current scenarios. And the other thing you can do because it's weighted so heavy is you can work it a lot faster. So if you want to really get this thing walking and jamming across the surface, um, it keeps that action going because it's got extra weight in it. So you can work it a lot faster as well. Uh, the last one here is the kick knocker BD, which is the, the big dog. So, uh, so much bigger, much louder. Um, so it's just an extension of the kick knocker series, but now in a bigger, you know, much bigger model. And this thing is crazy loud. So there's knocker in the tail, there's beads up here in the front. So incredibly loud, three hooks on it. It's made out of that same material. So it's, uh, it's, it makes that same kick knocker sound. So super loud. Um, what's cool about this one, it is a very large top water. It's almost seven inches and it's about two ounces, but you don't really need specialized equipment throwing it. Uh, Hideki told us that he fishes the same, the, the same setup. He fishes all the different baits on them. So you don't need to jump up to like a, like a big swim bait rod or uh, something oversized. So your normal topwater rod will throw this just fine and work it perfectly. So if you're looking for something that just has that bigger profile, uh, uh, that's gonna be the one you wanna go for. So just adding to the lineup of, uh, of the Tekel topwater arsenal there. All right, now let's go, into, let's go into some small stuff here. From Buckeye Lures, we got the BFS Sioux Spin. So tiny little, Bait finesse style um, uh, underspin jig head. You know, they've made this Sioux spin jig head for a long time. I'm actually a big fan of their underspin, but it's great to see another, another size added to their lineup. So now you got just a smaller profile bait if you're really trying to run those, uh, those smaller style soft plastics. If you have a, like a favorite little swim bait, but you're trying to find an underspin that's small enough to fit it and not kind of overpower it and get that hook shank too far down into the tail of the bait, New BFS uh, size there from, from Buckeye Lures. Uh, now let's get into some crappie stuff here from Bait Fuel. So bunch of new crappie stuff here came out from Bait Fuel and it's all in the Nano series. So there's like the Nano Vibe, uh, the Nano Shad, 
and then uh, the Nano Snack, it was that one right there. So just a couple different shapes. So you know, a little pintail, a little grub, a uh, little shad bait. So just a few more options, but now available in the bait fuel lineup. Uh, the plastic is infused with that proven bait fuel scent. So crappie anglers are big fans of scent. And now you can get the plastics already infused with the scent in it. So a few new options there for crappie anglers. Uh, from Booyah, another one I saw at ICAST that's super intriguing is the new Flashpoint jerkbait. Right out of the gate, you know, it's got these tall, flat sides on it. And it's got that tungsten weight transfer system in it. So it flies really, really well, casts great. And it gets got a tremendous action. But the, the most noticeable thing about this bait is it has this willow leaf blade kind of integrated into the head of the bait. And uh, watching some of the underwater footage of it, it really started to make sense to me. You know, when you're fishing a jerk bait and it's slashing side to side and up and down, you're really only getting a lot of flash off the sides of the bait. That um, that blade on the head, especially having a you know a nickel uh, you know chrome blade up on the top, it adds a whole another level of flash to your jerk baits, which I think is going to be crucial, especially in those clear water situations. So uh, you know, especially when those those, sh those bright, shinier kind of metallic uh, colors are seem to be working the best. You know that that little bit of that blade on there is just, it adds flash that's gonna go different directions than it would be just off the side. So I think it's something really cool and something that's unique, uh, interested to try. I'm a big jerkbait fisherman, so uh, something new that's just a little bit different. There's nothing else like that out there on the market. Definitely gonna try it out. And these hooks are crazy sharp. When I was at the show, uh, I was in the booth with Bill Dance and he was taking photos uh, for Booyah and stabbed himself in the face twice with this bait. And so they were, they were trying to slow him down from getting himself stuck again, but these hooks are nasty sharp. So if you're looking for new jerkbait, great one there to try from Booyah. From Zoom, uh, one that we know is gonna catch a lot of fish here. So new micro speed craw. So the speed craw is, I don't know how long the speed craw has been around, but it's a fish catching machine. It's great flip bait, jig trailer, uh, swim jigs, uh, punch in, wobble head, whatever you wanna do, the speed craws are phenomenal. And now we got a micro size. I believe it's 2.3 or two and a half inches. But if you want to run like a baby little Texas rig, I think it'd be super great to run with this, like a like an eighth ounce or a three sixteenths and like a little one out or two out hook. Super finesse Texas rig, a split shot, something like that. Uh, and then those really small uh, swim jigs. So a lot of people love to run the speed craw as their trailer on a swim jig, but there's not a lot of great options for those really small compact swim jigs now. You got something uh, from Zoom in that smaller, more compact profile in the speed crop. All right, from Z-Man, we got new chatterbait. So we got the new tungsten Evo. So the Evo came out, I believe last year or two years ago, and now they got a tungsten model out. So uh, we, we're always asking for a tungsten model of just about everything. And Z-Man uh, uh, Z is, you know, they have the, the widest offering of, of chatterbaits, vibrating jigs out there on the market the originals, and now they're just adding to adding to that lineup. So with that with that tungsten model, that head is so much smaller, so more compact. Even this half ounce size, it, it looks to be about the size of like a quarter ounce. Hand tied skirts, super sharp hook, and then it has a really great keeper system on there that's actually made to hold these uh, the Elastec trailers. And they've got the new trailers out, the new Chatter Shad. Uh, this is another one that came out at iCast. And it's very similar to their other vibrating jig trailer, the Chatter Spike, I believe is the name, but now with that flat tail on it. So, and now, and they've got all the, the sweet colors to match. So you can match that trailer up with your vibrating jig and just get that perfect color combination. But with that flat tail, just has more of that bait fish, uh, bait fish profile to it. And just gonna help push a little bit more water than just the regular old pintail. But now you got more options. Uh, last step from Z-Man. The Prawn Stars. So uh, another really cool one, and it's crazy how realistic this bait is. When they were putting this in the tank at ICAST, how much action and how much this bait moves, all the little side legs, it looks incredible and in how real it looks uh, when it's actually in the water in the tank. So this bait, you know, made for inshore fishing, especially in the Gulf and around Florida, Texas, places like that, where they do a lot of fishing with, uh, with you know, uh, uh, shrimps and uh, you know artificial shrimp style lures. This is gonna be a great option. There's two sizes. This is the bigger of the two. Bunch of great colors. It's got that tail on there that kind of kicks, I mean, just like a shrimp would. 
and uh, and super beefy hooks. So if you hook into those big red fish or, or whatever is trying to attack these things, you got plenty of hook power to keep them pinned there. You can fish it individually, but also a great option for fishing under a popping cork or anything like that. All right, new braided line from Daiwa. Um, it's actually just kind of a revamp of a line they've already made for a long time. So the new Samurai 8 braid line. I was a big fan of the original Samurai. It's a phenomenal braid. They've kind of changed up the formulation a little bit, but it is still crazy smooth, just like the original stuff. That's what I was always kind of drawn to. Uh, when the Samurai was first out, there wasn't as many eight strand, super smooth braided materials out there on the market. This stuff is crazy smooth. I really like it for flipping and pitching, uh, frogging, but especially flipping and pitching, it just comes off the reel so smooth and it just helps me make a more quiet entry and just be a little bit more stealthy on the water. It's only available in the dark green and I believe they have it from like 20 to 80 pounds. So huge range, um, but it, this is Daiwa's top tier level of braid. So if you're looking for a high quality braid, especially for that heavy cover flipping, if you want that stealthy approach, definitely check that one out. And last up, from Ducket, their Pro Series cranking rod. So this is actually Jacob Wall design. Um, it's a 7.4. It's not made out of glass. It's a full graphite rod, but they're using multiple types of graphite into this rod. And when I know flexing it, it does have like that perfect soft tip, especially for throwing those small cranks that could be difficult. So a lot of give in the tip. It transitioned into the power down very nicely down in kind of the midsection of the rod but it's not overly powerful like some graphite cranking rods can be. They can have a little bit too much power on it, but it's got that, that nice crisp tip on it to be able to make accurate longer casts of those smaller crankbaits. That's kind of the trade-off. Usually when you go to the, like a full glass rod or a composite rod, um, the ends on them are so soft, which is great for hooking fish and keeping them pinned, but the casting accuracy and performance usually lacks. Uh, this is kind of give you kind of the best of both worlds with the casting accuracy, performance, but has the right action to keep fish pinned and not really worry about losing fish and having uh, having too stiff of a rod with crankbaits and treble hook lures. So a really cool cranking rod, it's a 7.4. If you're looking for something for kind of those uh, smaller cranks, you know, uh, smaller cranks, square bills, medium diving crankbaits, uh, not like your 20 foot diving, uh, deep diving plugs, that's gonna be a great option to actually look into. Uh, that's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of the products seen here today, click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.